What's going on guys, it's PR Architects here. Today I want to show you how to make wire mesh railing in ARCHICAD. If you remember, I have a couple of railing tutorials in the channel. If you haven't watched them yet, you can watch from the link. This one is will be edit railing tutorials list and in the end of the tutorial you will be learned how to make this and of course you can download it from the Patreon page. All right, without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. At the very first, we are going to go to railing tool, of course, and create a simple railing, a straight one. After that, if we look into settings, we will see this pattern as default. We have hand railing here, top railing, inner post, main post and we have balusters. First step will be deleting this part, hand rails. Click minus. Now it's gone. After that we are going to click our balusters and we will see our settings here. The baluster settings. We have railing. Click that and we can change this. But instead of this we will use panels. So let's create panel. Click that and click plus. Unfortunately, we cannot do that. How we can achieve this? So instead of that, we are going to delete the pedestal too. And this time we will be able to place our panels. Just like this. Let's click OK and look at what we have in the 3D window. As you can see here, this is a glass panel. Now we are going to change this to mesh panel. Don't worry guys, we are not going to model all of the panels. I'm not suggesting to model the whole mesh. It will crash your computer and you cannot work. It's a kind of 3ds max process, but we won't do that in ARCHICAD because ARCHICAD is not suitable for this. Instead of that, we will use texture. How we will achieve this? First of all, in the settings, we need to do some preparation. Of course, we are going to use texture, but for those textures, we need to use a frame. So we'll click our frame. You can choose your frame type. This one, this one, this one. It doesn't matter for our process, but you can change fixings. Since we decided to using wire mesh, we cannot use point fixings. We are going to use this frame fixings. Once we've done that, we are going to change our texture. So let's go to this 3D representation. And we will see our frame. And we will see our panel. And we are going to change this texture, but this will be element of the fence. Therefore, we can use this iron. After that, we will overwrite panel surface. And we will be able to change this stainless steel. And luckily, we can use this metal fence chain link ready to use by ARCHICAD. Now we can click OK. It's nearly done. But those frames won't be wood and we mustn't see this inner frame. Let's fix them. Frame timber structure will be iron too. And we don't need to overwrite. But we may need to change this metal fence chain link because we don't want to see frames. But we cannot see an option here. Now, for now, we can click OK. And by the way, let's change those material. Let's make them same. Panel frame surface. Click that and stainless steel there you go and from the options menu element attributes click surface we are going to click new 
new from catalog medal yay we have lots of options here we have perforated metal sheets nets expanded chain links and much more let's try this one we will see our preview here and we can add more import grid this import fence chain link and a perforated one let's click ok and let's check them out in the settings we are going to change this structure to for instance this expanded and click ok there we go let's try this hexagons we can change this scale for the second step and we have this grid 03 and we are done maybe we can fix those fixings and we will decrease this value I don't know let's try 5 or 1 nothing happens this is width yeah here we are let's make them 1 This is okay, but this one is maybe we can change it to three. Yeah, there we go. But for the panel, we can give it more space from the up. We can make this eight. Just like that. And if we want to go back to the previous texture, it will be more elegant. I think this expanded one will be the best choice. There we go. This is how you can create wire mesh fans in ArchiCAD. If you like this tutorial, please hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe if you want to see similar tutorials like this. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, have a nice day.